Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is David Novak. I have shown this book before, the poem itself edited by Stanley Burnshaw. It's an anthology of poems in translation from uh, French, Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese. Oh, German as well. German being the section I have paid least attention to. I don't know why the, the uh, poetry in German has never much appealed to me in translation, and I have no experience studying the language itself, whereas with Romance languages, at least in my younger days, I had a little bit more exposure. I picked this up at Circle Campus Bookstore for 99 cents, which was a bargain. This book has served me well. So, uh, German, ha. Huh? Well, I'm not going to read from the German. I'm going to read a, a couple of poems by Cesar Vallejo, a Peruvian writer, I think. Um, when it comes to poetry, you don't need to read a lot. You don't need to read everything. You just need to have even possibly lines here or there that stick with you over time, and they can last a lifetime. And I'd like to just read a couple of my favorite poems by uh, Vallejo. I've been fortunate in that not all of the poems which have impressed themselves upon me were written in English. Um, this book will provide the poem and then give sort of a line-by-line -line translation, which gives a nuanced interpretation. And so it will explain possible um, dual meanings to a line, possible inferences, and so forth. It's really a, a marvelous way um, to get the feel for poems in another language. I wish more anthologies like this existed, even for older uh, literature. This is all modern, I, I would say. So, these poems have been with me, and in fact, the two that I'm going to uh, read, I did mock versions of, just as an exercise, and I wound up putting them into a book of mine under the title of Amplitude and Dispersion, I think it is. Um, I can put a link to uh, my Lulu site in the description box. Um, my pastiches, if you will, are not nearly of the grade as the original, but it just sort of betokened the love that I feel for these poems. So the first one is titled Aces, uh, which you could say as being dregs or the the, uh, the little sediment in the, the glass after the, the liquid has been imbibed. Pardon my poor reading. Esta tarde llueve como nunca, y no tengo ganas de vivir corazón. Esta tarde es dulce, porque no ha de ser. Viste gracia y pena, viste de mujer. Esta tarde en Lima llueve, y, no, y yo recuerdo las cavernas crueles de mi ingratitud, mi bloque de hielo sobre su amapola. Más fuerte que su no seas aquí así. Mis violentas flores negras y la bárbara y enorme pedrada y el trecho glacial y pondrá el silencio de su dignidad con óleos quemantes el punto final. Por eso esta tarde como nunca voy con este bujo con este corazón. Y otras pasan, y viéndome tan triste, toman un poquito de ti. En la abrupta arruga de mi hondo dolor. Esta tarde llueve, llueve mucho, y no tengo ganas de vivir corazón. So that line, uh, which starts and finishes, uh, Llueve, llueve mucho, or llueve como nunca, y no tengo ganas de vivir corazón. 
It's it's a, a line, I suppose you could say, akin to the line from Keats, now more than ever seems it rich to die. Uh, I think that poetry often offers up such sentiments, and I think that they serve uh, not to make the reader depressed, but serve to help the reader negotiate uh, that kind of sentiment when he himself feels it. Uh, there, there's so many parts in this poem that are wonderful. I'm sorry that I, I misread a little bit, but I love that, that part um, uh, where he says it's uh, mas fuerte que, que su no seas así. I'm sorry, I kind of bumbled that when I read it. And I, I love the, the fact that he, he uh, he's, he's saying, um, que uh, otras pasan y viéndome tan triste, toman un poquito de ti. I mean, that that is just uh, wonderful. So that's the first of the two. The second is probably more famous, written a little bit later. Um, and it's got the title of Piedra Negra Sobre Una Piedra Blanca. And I, I, I believe I got a minor in Spanish literature. Or no, it was, I, 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 I had a humanities degree with a concentration in Spanish literature. Don't let me misspeak. It's so long ago, I can't remember. But I know we studied this poem. So um, I guess that would be black stone over a, a white stone or black rock over a white rock. Really, another lovely one. I'll try to do better with this. Me moriré en Paris con aguacero. Un día del cual tengo ya el recuerdo. Me moriré en Paris. Y no me corro. Tal vez un jueves como es hoy de otoño. Jueves será. Porque hoy jueves que proso estos versos. Los húmeros me he puesto a la mala y jamás como hoy me he vuelto con todo mi camino a verme solo. César Vallejo ha muerto. Le pegaban todos sin que él les haga nada. Le daban duro con un palo y duro también con una soga. Son testigos los días jueves y los huesos húmeros, la soledad, la lluvia, los caminos. Uh, so you, you end again with the reference to the rain. I will rain in Paris uh, with rain showers. Uh, the day is, is already in my memory. I will die in Paris uh, maybe on a, a Thursday like today in October. And uh, of course, the anecdote, I don't, don't see it here, but I believe it is said that 14 years after writing this, he did die on a Thursday in Paris, and there was rain. Uh, so these are just a couple of poems which have meant a lot to me. Uh, this book, of course, has uh, Machado Antonio, uh, not my favorite one, the one which ends with Quiere ceniza que le guarde el fuego, but it has his, his famous one, which I did a reading of recently about the uh, Caminos sobre, sobre, sobre el mar or something like that. I, I get I, I get confused with the that word because I think sometimes it's El Mar, but I think sometimes it's La Mar, and I don't I, I haven't studied the language, so I don't know because in Garcia Lorca you have I, I think it's La Mar Amargo or something. Uh, sorry, I'm going off on a 
digression, which was needless. When it comes to this booktube channel, I don't really know what I'm doing at all. Um, I'm inclined to think that I don't have a lot to say about much. I've done a little bit here and there sharing things that I've liked or things, uh, book, books that I own which I would like to read or which I have read. And were I reading more at a faster clip, uh, I might be able to report on the things that I've been reading. Uh, I'm, like I say, not really sure where I'm going to take this channel, and I have other thoughts in the back of my mind that I'm not going to introduce just yet. So I will leave this video where it stands here. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel.